G'day awesome people, welcome to another episode of Trains Move. So today's question comes from Amen, same as yesterday, guy who's the coach, comes from India. Uh, another question on how to judge if we are ready for a full Ironman and what are the time required to prepare for that? So that's a cool question, I love Ironman, so I think it's the... Um, I think it's the the best distance to race for, that I personally like because th- it's long and it's short enough where you can push yourself the entire time, but it's long enough where you so, you've got to be so mentally focused that if you just break slightly mentally, the whole day can be shot out the window and it um, can turn into a very long day. You say you've got to be so mentally focused. You've got to be, um, but you can push yourself the entire the entire swim, the entire bike, the entire run. You can push yourself. You just got to be mentally focused. You got to be th- always thinking of that next step. All right, what what am I going to need now? I need nutrition. I have got to take a salt tablet. You know, whatever it is. So to answer your question though, you've got. Uh, you re- so this is your first Ironman you, you're thinking of. I obviously know you because I used to coach you for a couple of years. Um, but I'll try and make this so you try and provide some value for a lot of other people. I would recommend six months, a, a, a six months at least six months to train for it. it you want at least to be doing three bikes, or three swims, three bikes, three runs. At minimum, one of those swims you got to build up uh, to at least a, to a four k swim. One of those bikes you got to at least build up to a six six hour bike ride, and one of those runs you got to at least build up to at least two to three hour of running a week. You, you don't need to excuse me. Yeah. You don't need to do that from, you know six months out but you've got to slowly build that so you get to those last 12 weeks you're doing that at least once or once a week or you're doing them once a week plus you're doing your other swim bike runs if you can't dedicate that six hours bike rides every single week trying to do it once a fortnight that would be a minimum doing it let's say on a two-week basis you do a six-hour bike ride one saturday and a four-hour bike ride the next Saturday, and you might want to put a few more efforts in that four-hour bike ride. Um, and then you see you just you just so the first thing you got to do is you got to look at your available training hours. So can you donate that amount of time to train for six months? If if you can, then you can progress into that next slot. So you just kind of got to reverse engineer everything. So you're looking at what your what your goal is. For most people that on their first Ironman, it's to finish within the time frame. You've got 17 hours to do it. And that brings me to, if I offered you $10,000, would you be able to do an Ironman this weekend? And, I mean, you could. So you could do it. You could, you could, you definitely could do it within the time frame, but that would be, it would be a, a horrible day. But that, that gives, should give you the confidence that right, I can do it, and you want to you you really want to do it, and you want to do it as as good as you possibly can at, at you know at, in your current scenario. So if you can swim, bike, run at least three times a week, and at least and if you can get to you know do some just strength strength and conditioning sessions. You know, even if at minimum there are at least three ten minute core sessions, then that that will help. That will help greatly. So it's a great sport, though. Great distance. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to submit, jump on through to the website trainsmove.com. Send me through an email, Tim at trainsmove.com. Till tomorrow, hooroo.